The ambush, one of the oldest tricks in the book. The element of surprise helps you overwhelm your intended target and makes it easier to subdue them. It always works. Well, mostly always. Action is always faster than reaction. It's the reason police have a procedure called a no-knock warrant. The bad guys know this as well and conduct their own no-knock home invasions. A book I highly recommend is titled Surviving the Economic Collapse by Fernando Furlan Aguirre, or he's commonly known as Fairfowl. Anyway, the book Surviving the Economic Collapse is a manual uh, of survival and it's based on first-hand experience of the 2001 economic collapse in Argentina. The author describes how groups of armed men would overwhelm a family in a house in a residential neighborhood and then make that house their base of operations. They would then conduct home invasions on the rest of the street or in the neighborhood uh, throughout the night, raping and pillaging as they pleased. When you find yourself still alive in the initial stages of being ambushed, you have only two options. One is to lie down and die. The other is to charge into the ambush and fight, which, by the way, will also more than likely result in your death. Finding yourself the target of an ambush is a lose-lose situation. But by charging into the ambush, you may possibly injure or kill one of the ambushers and also alert the rest of your family or group of the dire situation and give them time to react and maybe even survive. For this reason, I cannot stress enough to always be armed if you can and aware of your surroundings. If you can't carry a firearm, then you should at least carry a knife. I don't mean a little Swiss Army knife. I mean a knife designed for defensive purposes, something that will do some damage. Of course, you have to follow your state and local laws, and maybe some folks out there would rather carry pepper spray. That's all well and good, and to each his own. Knives are a hotly debated subject on YouTube. I don't claim to be an expert, so feel free to leave your recommendation. I'm sure everyone has an opinion on this. I will say that I'm rather fond of the Otanashi no Ken, uh, designed by James Williams for CRKT. It has become my constant companion as of late. For those who think home invasions can't happen to you, I encourage you to do something very difficult. Read about the Connecticut home invasion in 2007, where the husband was beaten with a baseball bat, thrown down the basement stairs, and then tied up in the cellar. His wife and two daughters, age 11 and 17, were tied to their beds and raped repeatedly, then left to burn after gasoline was poured around their beds and ignited. The husband was conscious of all this in the basement as he was tied up. He heard what was happening. I provided the link to that story below. This is just one tragic story, but all too many like it. We humans are designed to avoid pain and discomfort. Reading this story is not comfortable. But it's a reminder that even in civilized times, there are those among us who know no depths to their depravity. It's a good bet that in uncivilized times, the number of these terrible incidents will grow as the monsters living right here among us realize the rule of law has disappeared from the landscape. Your greatest survival weapons will be being aware of your surroundings, your adaptability, and how fast you can react. If you haven't read my book, The SHTF Art of War, fear not, you can get it immediately with no waiting on Kindle at Amazon.com. Uh, a link to buy the book is provided below. If you do not have an e-reader, you can download the free Kindle Reader app for your smartphone, PC, or tablet. I've put the link to that also below as well. If you found this information useful, please share it and post it with others on Facebook, Twitter, or send it in an email. More insight into the SHTF Art of War can also be found at my website, www.shtfartofwar.com. Thank you for your time, and be aware of your surroundings.